The Skywalker storyline comes to an end with Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, and that's too bad because there are plenty of stories about the most famous family in the galaxy far, far away. From pirate adventures to clone craziness, here are the best Skywalker stories we'll never see in the movies. Though there were rumors of a turn to the dark side for Luke Skywalker leading up to The Last Jedi, such a turn never took place. Luke remained, even in his disillusioned state, a bastion for good. He got to save the day with his force projection duel against Kylo Ren, which allowed the Resistance fighters to escape and proved that Luke remained a true hero to his core. But fans of the Expanded Universe know that Luke was previously tempted by the dark side, going so far as to become the apprentice to the Emperor himself. I got a bad feeling about this. The storyline occurred in one of the first Expanded Universe stories, the aptly named Dark Empire. This 1991 comic book from Dark Horse Comics takes place just a handful of years after Return of the Jedi, and it sees the Emperor return from his presumed death at the end of that film, with the explanation being that he transferred his consciousness to a cloned body at the moment of his death. Luke, shocked to see him alive, agrees to become his apprentice, with his plan being to bring down the resurgent Empire from the inside. But the dark side corrupts Luke, and he loses sight of his goal. It takes a lightsaber fight against Leia for him to snap out of it, and at that point, he's finally able to defeat Palpatine. Dark Luke would have been cool to see on the big screen, but the window for this story closed long ago. In the official Star Wars sequel films, Luke is not shown to have settled down. As far as we know, he never had a serious relationship, never married, and never had children. But in the expanded universe, Luke did all of those things with a woman named Mara Jade. Mara Jade was introduced in the 1991 novel Heir to the Empire, the first installment in Timothy Zahn's wildly popular Thrawn trilogy. Mara is introduced as a smuggler who was previously employed as the Emperor's Hand. She's an extremely skilled user of the dark side of the Force, and prior to the Emperor's death, Mara was given the command to kill Luke Skywalker. She manages to kidnap Luke, but the two subsequently become stranded in a harsh environment and must work together to escape. This event starts to bring the two together, and though it takes several more novels, Luke and Mara eventually fall in love and finally get married in the 2000 Dark Horse comic Star Wars Union. But that's not the end of their story. Luke and Mara also have a son together named Ben Skywalker, whose first name appears to have been recycled in the sequel trilogy as Ben Solo, aka Kylo Ren. Ben Skywalker grows up to become an accomplished Jedi like his mom, but Mara doesn't live to see it. She's murdered by her nephew Jason Solo while he's on his way to becoming Darth Kytus. Mara Jade wasn't the only character of significance to be introduced in Zahn's Thrawn trilogy. There was also Luke Skywalker, with two U's, an evil clone who made his debut in the conclusive novel in the trilogy The Last Command. In the story, it's revealed that the clone was created by the mad Jedi Master Joris Sabaoth. Sabaoth made the clone using Luke's severed hand that Darth Vader cut off during their battle on Cloud City in The Empire Strikes Back and Luke even wielded Luke's original lightsaber that was also lost in that battle. Sabaoth six Luke on Luke, and the two engage in an intense lightsaber duel. Given that Luke is a genetic clone of Luke and that he's received expert training from Sabaoth, the two are a perfect match for each other. Their fight ends when resident badass Mara Jade intervenes, using Leia's lightsaber to slay both Luke and Joris Sabaoth. The real Luke comes to view Luke as the fulfillment of the vision he had on Dagobah in The Empire Strikes Back, where he duels someone he thinks is Darth Vader only to realize it was himself. Luke Skywalker may not have featured heavily in the expanded universe, but the idea of an evil Luke clone whose creation came about thanks to one of the most iconic scenes in the franchise is undeniably awesome. Not every Skywalker story in the expanded universe revolved around Luke. Leia also got some love in the EU, and she got to do some pretty cool stuff in the books and comics that her on-screen counterpart could only dream of. And one of Leia's best stories that will never make it to the big screen is the adventure she took in Marvel Comics Star Wars No. 73, which was published roughly two months after the release of Return of the Jedi in 1983. The story, dubbed Lasbane after the planet on which it takes place, picks up not long after the Battle of Endor. Leia, Luke, Lando, Chewbacca, R2-D2, and C-3PO are all still hanging out together, though Han Solo had gone missing at the time, and they've recently picked up a new ally, a pink-skinned female thief named Danny. The gang heads to the planet Lasbane to search for the flight record of a rebel pilot who crashed there, and they learn the records they need are located across a vast canyon. Leia and Danny hatch a plan to secretly secure the records themselves, so under cover of night, the two women cross the canyon in a pair of hot air balloons. Okay, yes, this story is ridiculous, but the idea of Leia going on a female-only adventure to prove her worth, even in a hot air balloon, would have been fun to see on the silver screen. 
If there's one thing Star Wars desperately needs, it's a Jedi pirate. And that's exactly what Cade Skywalker is. Debuting in Dark Horse's Star Wars Legacy comics, Cade's story takes place many years after the exploits of our traditional Star Wars heroes. Over a hundred years after, in fact, as Cade is the great-great-grandson of Luke Skywalker. And since Canon and Luke had no children, that means we'll never see a Cade Skywalker movie. And that's a shame. Cade Skywalker is downright awesome, there's no getting around it. The guy is basically a cross between Luke and Han, with a little Boba Fett and Jack Sparrow thrown in for good measure. You are without doubt the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of me. He was raised a Jedi, but after seeing his father murdered, he takes a different path by operating in the seedier side of the galaxy. He becomes a pirate and a bounty hunter, and he has his own sweet ship with a loyal crew of scallywags. Cade eventually is confronted with his past when he's discovered by the Sith Lord Darth Krayt, who seeks him out due to his Skywalker heritage. Cade ends up reluctantly embracing his Jedi roots and proves to be an extremely powerful Force user, taking the fight to Krayt and eventually killing him in combat. Cade Skywalker's story is one of the EU's most thrilling adventures, and it would give Star Wars fans something they hadn't seen in a movie before. But alas, it seems like they never will. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.